In the world of politics, words matter. And when Donald Trump, a man known for his controversial statements, referred to January 6th as a day of love during a recent Hispanic town hall, the reaction was swift, visible, and viral. Captured in a few seconds of raw emotion, the audience's discomfort underscored just how deeply his words resonated, or failed to, with the people listening. But why did Trump's latest comments spark such a reaction, and what does it mean for his future on the campaign trail? During a Univision town hall, former President Donald Trump faced a skeptical audience as he attempted to recast the narrative of the January 6th Capitol riot. The event was supposed to be a chance for Trump to reconnect with voters, but it quickly spiraled into an uncomfortable spectacle when he downplayed the events of that infamous day, describing it as a day of love. His words not only shocked the audience but also went viral, leading to widespread criticism and further scrutiny of his handling of that turbulent period. Ramiro Gonzalez, a Republican voter from Tampa, had approached Trump with a chance to explain himself, but what followed was a response that left many viewers stunned and visibly disturbed. The town hall's tense moment began when Gonzalez, a construction worker and registered Republican, posed a blunt and direct question to Trump. Expressing his disappointment over Trump's perceived inaction on January 6, Gonzalez challenged the former president, asking why he should offer his support when even Trump's own vice president had distanced himself. The question was pointed and unflinching, echoing the concerns of many who were left uneasy by Trump's attempts to minimize the seriousness of the events that unfolded at the Capitol. Trump's response, however, was anything but conciliatory. As he spoke, he appeared to dismiss the violence, insisting there was nothing done wrong that day and reiterating his baseless claims about a rigged election. He continued to describe the gathering as peaceful, claiming that the millions who came to Washington were motivated by love for the country. It was the largest group I've ever spoken to before, Trump said, attempting to paint the crowd in a favorable light. But as the camera panned across the room, the audience's reaction told a different story. One woman snapped her head, her expression shifting from confusion to disbelief. Others, visibly uncomfortable, glared, winced, or stared ahead blankly, their silence speaking louder than any words. The moment quickly gained traction online, with clips of the audience's reaction spreading across social media platforms. A post from the Kamala Harris campaign on X zoomed in on the women's expressions, amplifying the moment to nearly 3 million views. It wasn't just a reaction to Trump's words, it was a snapshot of the growing discontent and division that continues to haunt his political career. Trump's description of the events on January 6 as peaceful and devoid of wrongdoing flew in the face of reality. Over 1,265 individuals have been charged, and the Justice Department documented how 140 officers were assaulted. The chaotic and violent scenes that played out as Trump supporters breached the Capitol, vandalized property, and fought with law enforcement left an indelible mark on the nation. Even as Trump attempted to soften his comments by adding that he told supporters to be peaceful and patriotic, his words seemed hollow in the face of overwhelming evidence. The crowd that stormed the Capitol wasn't there for a love fest, they were armed, angry, and determined to stop the certification of Joe Biden's election win. Trump's insistence that there were no guns at the Capitol and that others had guns, but we didn't was yet another attempt to distort the reality of that day. Officers like Brian Sicknick lost their lives, while others faced unimaginable violence and trauma. Roseanne Boyland was caught in a stampede, Kevin Greeson suffered a heart attack, and the chilling reality of Ashley Babbitt's shooting remains a grim reminder of how dangerously close the rioters came to endangering members of Congress. The town hall incident was not the first time Trump's handling of January 6 had resurfaced on the campaign trail. He has repeatedly tried to downplay the severity of the Capitol attack, even during recent interviews where he dismissed concerns about the violent transfer of power. But with each new attempt, it becomes clearer that his attempts to rewrite history are failing to convince anyone outside of his most loyal supporters. For many, Trump's characterization of the Capitol riot as a day of love was the final straw, a tone-deaf dismissal that further alienates him from voters who are still grappling with the aftermath of that dark day. Donald Trump's town hall moment was a stark reminder of just how out of touch he has become with the realities of the January 6th attack.
While his most ardent supporters might still cling to his words, the viral reaction of the town hall audience proved that many Americans, especially those watching that day, are not willing to forget what happened. As the 2024 presidential race heats up, Trump's attempts to rewrite the narrative of January 6 may continue to backfire, leaving him further isolated in a political landscape that demands accountability. The day of love he spoke of may live on in his mind, but for the rest of the nation, it remains a day of chaos, violence, and loss, a day that cannot and should not be forgotten.